joined here by Daniel from Hochschule Bochum. Daniel, tell us about the process that the team has been through today. For today, um, static scrutineering is uh, testing for the mechanical, the electrical safety. Also, really important is the battery safety and the uh, um, safety plan overall. See how the documentation that we handed in before the testing uh, fits what we we have planned here and testing if everything is correct. Right now everything is, well not everything is totally fine but we don't, we only have minor problems that will be hopefully even solved today. So I guess in that respect looking to come back to the representation process and get a clean bill of health, all green boxes? Yeah, we'll uh, try getting our green stickers that we desperately need to uh, start the race. Right now we have uh, some of them, uh, not all yet, we're halfway through the day. The car that you're running this year has got an interesting story and the rationale yeah. behind the choice to go with it. And it's that it's actually one of your old chassis upgraded to the regulations for this year's event. Can you tell us about the decision to go with that? Right. Um, so for 2019, we had a completely new car planned. Unfortunately, uh, some do regulations, some do sponsorings. Um, we decided to uh, not build a completely new car halfway in, uh, so we only had one year left. And our decision was, okay, we cannot build a, a different car that would fit the regulations in one year. So uh, we took the 2015 car, which is really exceptionally good in a mechanical standpoint. But um, the electronics, they suffered over the years. Uh, so we thought about generally we took uh, most of the electronics from the 2017 car, updated them a bit and uh, have a really nice um, updated electronic system in our 2015 car. Um, also, uh, because the regulations for cruiser class changed and we have to charge the car halfway in, we also have the onboard charger in the car now, and also we have a bigger battery. The bigger battery was uh, a different battery concept. Um, the cells that we have are not anymore um, fitted through soldering. They are pressed together, so we don't have heat damaging the cells uh, when assembling the battery. The decision to go with last year's car as well probably speaks to another aspect of this event and that's around sustainability. So instead of building from the ground up and using a lot of resources to develop a car, you're actually reusing what you've already had. So there's a sustainability argument there yeah. as well. Also, uh, just to uh, explain the battery also, is um, the battery we have in now is really big and we don't intend to use the battery in Germany um, because we drive it in Germany, we can drive it on the street. We have uh, our car is road legal in Germany, but uh, we want to use it with a bit smaller battery. Um, and the reason is our battery cells. We can disassemble the battery completely. The cells won't be damaged. We don't have to desolder um, cells. So it is kind of sustainable that we can use the cells again, and they won't be damaged at all. Also, yeah, using a new car is more sustainable than building a new car. Also, it was just. Uh, very satisfying to have the car and just fit new electronics in. That was pretty good. Also, we had a bit longer testing phase because of that. Our testing phase was uh, pretty successful, I think, even for the team, just getting the team working together. Plans for the rest of the week? You've only got a few modifications you need to make to the car, as you just said. How do you finalise your preparation for the Bridgestone World Solar Challenge? Before the scrutineering, we did some more um, electronics, some more uh, mechanical stuff to do just because shipping a car from Germany to Australia really wears out the car a bit. Uh, there's some things that didn't work like they used to before. Still, there were some minor things to, to improve in the car. So we had some, like, three or four days of working. Then we had a test drive in the Gunpoint Road. We were one of the first teams getting the permission to go there. Uh, then we had one or two days off as well. That was pretty nice because we had some night shifts. Three days ago we started with um, a race simulation, which means we go to the Gunpoint Road, simulate 600 kilometers on the first day and 600 on the second day, and we tented. We went to a private property where we could set up tents and simulated race conditions, meaning not showering, having uh, food cooked on, on a 
on a small barbecue grill and stuff like that, like in the race basically, just to get the team feeling in the outback. And also getting up really early, checking the car and going this long test drives. So you feel well prepared because you've obviously been able to give your team the opportunity to experience Australian conditions right. well in advance. How many of the members of the team have experienced these conditions before? Our team is fairly new. Um, compared to the 2017 teams, or uh, our 2017 team, our car is fairly new. We have three team members that were in uh, previous years, not only 2017, but even 2015 and I even think 2013. We're happy to have them here because uh, with only new team members, members that would be quite uh, difficult. Also, uh, the scrutineering, we got a lot of information from all team members how, how the scrutineering is going to be and what will hit us, basically, what we have to deal with. And uh, right now, I think we uh, are well prepared for the scrutineering. Thanks for speaking to us. Yeah, thank you for the interview.